never going to be able to film with one consistent background. Hey everybody, it's Helen, and today is going to be more of a follow-up to my Musical Passions video. If you remember, I talked about concerts being one of the best things I can ever experience as a music fan. Today, I'm going to talk about a concert that I went to last weekend, and it was probably one of the best experiences of my life. I went and saw a band called Switchfoot last weekend. For those of you who don't know, Switchfoot are a rock group from California. People describe them as like a Christian rock group but I would say that they're more like a rock group who happen to be Christians. I actually went and saw them in concert last year uh, with my friend. Fast forward to this past weekend, I decided to spend a little extra and I went VIP for the concert. I'd never done that before. I didn't do that for One Direction, sadly. I'm a broke college kid. Woke up the day of, I went to the venue, which was about five minutes from my dorm. Um, so I went by myself. I met somebody else there who was there by herself and so we kind of hung out a little bit. Signed in at VIP and got our goodie bags, which uh, included this awesome bag, obviously. Switch foot bracelet, a signed poster, which you can't see because it's hung up down there because I ran out of space back here. And of course, I got my special VIP pass. What? Um, I was actually really, very really excited, but we had to wait a little bit. There were a lot of people. They were great during sound check. They took questions from us, which was really nice. <laughs> and we went and stood in a line backstage. It kind of dawned on me that I was like meeting someone, like an, someone that I was a fan of. Like, I was very, very nervous, to say the least. Um, I was worried that I was gonna like fall flat on my face, which happened quite a bit for me. I finally did get up to them. They were all super, super nice. I didn't have anything for them to sign um, other than the bag, so they signed all of them the back of my bag. I took a picture with them. They were really super, super nice guys. They, they could tell I was nervous, um, but they made me feel comfortable. It was so nice. We got in the venue, and literally all the VIP people just ran up to the front. So I ended up sitting in the second row, but I ended up like standing and going almost up to the stage. <laughs> Everyone in like the front four rows just shoots up from their seats. I was like fighting my way to the front, the closest I've ever been to a mosh pit. I came on stage and it was heavenly. I was so happy. And then, about two or three songs in, I noticed that John Foreman was coming really, really close to my side of the stage. He got off the stage and then like meandered through my side of the audience. <laughs> Powerful song too. <laughs> they played Dare You to Move. I feel so lucky because that was the second time I've heard that live. The guitarist, who is uh, Tim Foreman, who is uh, John Foreman's younger brother, he sang a song that he wrote himself and he got to sing live vocals. if he could play Meant to Live with them on guitar. So they brought this guy up on stage and they gave him the guitar and he just knew everything. It was so cool. The look on his face, I think he almost cried when he came off stage. I was just sitting there moshing and oh my gosh. I want to do that again, <laughs> to be quite honest. After all was said and done, they came off stage and I got someone to take this picture of me in front of it. A bunch of people, including myself, we waited out by the tour bus. John Foreman, after all their shows, likes to do a little acoustic show like out in the parking lot. He just walked to like a random spot in like the, the Fine Arts Center parking lot, saying a few things on uh, guitar. I got this song right here. Over and over again. Over again. And then he 
sing is a song that he had literally just wrote, but that was a really great night. They didn't sing This Is Home, which I was kind of bummed about, but you know, I met them. People were asking for pictures and whatnot, and my phone had just died, and I just came up to him and I said, you know, thank you, and I mean, I don't have a camera or anything, and I just want to give you a hug and say thank you. But gosh, that concert was so cool. Take me back. <laughs> Anyways, that was my experience at a Switchfoot concert and my first time going VIP for anything. I guarantee you it was the one of the best experiences ever. Concerts are just a great experience. I recommend you go to one whether you're in the front row or you're in like the very back row. It is just a completely amazing experience to hear music live. If you want to find out more about Switchfoot, I made a playlist on Spotify of some of the songs that they sang in the concert. If you liked this video and you want to see more of them, you can subscribe here on my main channel or on my second channel where I post extra vlog footage stuff. If you want to see what I get up to when I'm not filming, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links will be in the description as well. And you can also follow me on Spotify to see the music I'm listening to. I've just updated a couple playlists. As always, I love you all. Remember to keep living awesome lives, and I will see you soon. Bye!